Now, the reason I'm doing this video is because this Mazda 6 has given me a great life. How great, you might say? 191,000 miles. And I'm going to let all of you witness the changing of the guard where those nines all become zeros and that one at the front becomes a two. Stay tuned. We're at another um, display now and this is where we are. I just, for whatever reason, I never liked awesome. I, I just want to talk about things that are unexpected. Um, I had a Mazda six um this is the this is the it's, it's not redesigned it was like redesigned in 2014 i think mazda has been was very surprising for me um and i i bought my 2004 mazda brand new in january of 2005 so i drove that car until it had about we have 100 8,000 miles. We are about to turn the 200,000 mile marker in the Mazda 6. So Toyota is not the only company that can clock and can join the 200,000 mile club. But right now, I think Mazda 6 is going for about $6,000 used this year for probably about 110,000 miles on it. If you can find yourself Mazda 6 used. You can see what this car is capable of. Whoa, whoa, whoa. One, nine, 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 nine. How many nines is that? Nine, 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 nine. Whoa. 191,000 It's going to turn, good people. It is going to turn. The 91695, as you can see, I'm going to cool 60 miles an hour. <laughs> it said no texting her. Uh, and no phones. Uh, wait a minute. Wait for it. No! Yeah. We got it! 200,000 miles at 60 miles an hour. Wow. Let's savor this for a minute. 200,000 miles. 200,000 miles. Isn't it great? Isn't I, it great? I think so, son. I, I, I totally agree with you. Oh, 240,000 miles on it. And then I gave it to my sister, and my sister drove the Mazda 6 until it had about 280 or something like that on it, or all I did with it. And I did everything myself, like, not everything myself, but I did a lot of stuff with the Mazda myself. But all I had to do with the Mazda was change the oil. It, so it had brakes, change the oil. Um, one time when it had like 180,000 miles on it, I couldn't get it out of reverse. It was a six shift, with manual, manual transmission. And I couldn't get it out of gear um, after I parked at a basketball tournament for my son. So I'm like, hmm, what's going on? It needed a new transmission. I have to fix the transmission because the car had been so reliable. And, you know, it went for, like I said, another 90,000 miles after that. The transmission was like two grand um, installed. So I'm like, okay, cool. That was great. And, and I thought back about Mazda and I'm just like, how do you, how do you let it be something that people do not talk about that you actually have cars that can go 200,000 miles? I mean, you like, it's almost like you're letting your competitors be in Honda and Toyota. It's like you're letting them go out and tell everyone reliability, reliability, reliability. And I bought the Mazda because it was like three, four grand cheaper than a Camry or a Honda Accord. And plus it was cool. Like they had that, they have the cool, like, I don't even see it anywhere. The zoom, zoom, but all that, the, like it was zoom, zoom and the driving dynamics were different. The Mazda was a more sporty ride. Um, and that's what I like because I enjoy, I enjoy driving. So the thing with the, the thing with Mazda, I guess I wish that they would kind of publicize just how good they really are like you can tell people why they should like you and i'm not telling people right now why they should like mazda all i'm trying to do is tell people what my experience was with mazda i love the mazda 6 and i think people should buy the mazda 6 um because 
it drove great. It was fast. I mean, it felt fast. Yeah, it only had like, I don't know, 160 horsepower or something like that on my four cylinder. Um, but it felt peppy. And obviously when you buy a manual transmission car, you know, you can, you can control um, how fast you go or how, at least how fast you're feeling you're going or accelerating. Um, so that was kind of cool, but 280,000 miles. And then, I don't know, my sister, I think like, I don't think she got the oil changed as regularly as she should have. Cause I changed it between like, you know, three and five. And um, for a while, it, it, the engine was pretty tough too because I was using the factory stuff for a while and then I went fully synthetic because I read an article or something and some gearhead is telling me like, yeah, you should like put fully synthetic in your car or whatever. So I did that and then, then I changed up and I went back to conventional and I was like, damn, is the car going to like get screwed up or anything? Like, nope, everything was fine. So from about 180,000 miles to... No, 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 maybe like 140,000 miles to the end of the car's life, it wasn't on synthetic. And for the first like hundred some thousand miles, it was on synthetic um, after it had like 40,000 miles on it. So, I mean, I think it's cool. I just wish Mazda would talk a little bit more about how reliable the cars are, because if I could drive the car and had 280,000 miles on it, I think Mazda should talk to people and tell people that their cars are extremely reliable because my Mazda 6 was. My sister, she, has, she actually, um, once the car, when she didn't get the oil changed and the engine went and all that stuff. So now she's got a Mazda 3. She does not have this one. Um, she has the one with the trunk, so the four door. So she's got that one. Yeah, you see, that's a trunk, not a hatchback. And I just think, I just think the brand's pretty cool. And they've got some cool technology going on, but it's like, if it's not a Miata, they're not telling you. They only have one sedan. So it's kind of like, you know, Come on, guys. I mean, you can let people know that you're doing good stuff. So um, thanks, Mazda, for giving me a car that had 280,000 miles. And I actually have some pretty cool videos um, that I'm going to include here at the end just so you guys can take a look at um, some of the milestones I experienced with Mazda.